Hello everyone and welcome to WordPressSplashPage.com. My name is Scott Turner and in this tutorial we'll be taking a look at how to set up WordPress to accommodate a splash page site or a sales page site. To start let's go ahead and assume that this is a fresh install that you've logged in for the very first time and now you need to set everything up. Uh, the first thing you'll want to do is make sure you have the appropriate plugins installed um, and I would recommend at least having the all-in-one SEO pack, the contact form 7, Google XML sitemaps, and of course the two splash page plugins that uh, came with your download. Um, once those are activated, I would go down to my permalinks under settings, and I'm going to select the custom structure option. And for this one, I would recommend just doing the post name. So what you're going to do is you're going to put in a forward slash percent, and then type post name percent forward slash and then you're going to click save changes the next thing I want to do is go ahead and create a new page and I'm going to call that page home and this of course can be you can actually call it anything you'd like to but what this is going to be is the main landing page when somebody goes to your site.com this is the content that they're going to see so this is your splash page this is your sales page and to give us some content I'm just going to go ahead and stick something in here and of course under page attributes you're going to select the pro blog shop splash page template and you can go ahead and publish that and then what we need to do is set this page to be the main home page so you, to do that you go to settings reading and then you're going to select this radio button that says a static a static page and you're going to select that home and then click save changes so now instead of the template that's installed on your site showing up you're going to have the, the splash page show up but there's also a couple other pages that are going to be really helpful when you have a site like this maybe a thank you page you'll have a contact me page maybe an about me page you definitely want a privacy policy or terms of use so let's go ahead and create those pages now I'm going to go to pages add new have an about us page contact us page a privacy policy and a thank you page of course you'll go ahead and put your content in there but now what we need to do is kind of link everything together so what we're going to do is go back to our pages and we're going to edit the home page and what's very common is at the bottom using a disclaimer and then a small navigation which you can find in the template section right here so now what we need to do is just take these links and update them to the appropriate spot so what you might want to do is instead of clicking on this you're going to right click and then click open a new tab and so for the about us page if you mouse over this view link you can right click on it and then click copy link location and then come back here and here's the the linking option you'll click that paste in the URL click OK and you'll do that with each of these links so privacy policy mouse over it right click copy link location highlight it click the link option change this to URL and paste that in there and then of course you'll continue on there and then you'll update your earnings disclaimer we have all rights reserved here and you'll update your page so then at the bottom they can click on it and they'll go to the next you know they'll go to wherever they need to go and this is where you maybe want to find a theme that suits you um, you can do that by because because all of the other pages that are not set up with the splash page of course are going to show whatever theme is active so what you might want to do is go to um, themes and then 
install themes and they have a a built-in search where you can you can browse through different themes that you like we'll just install it and and then these other pages will look like that so those are the basics of setting up a website where you have a capture page or a sales page on the front end and then maybe on the back end a couple more pages and um, if you have any questions please feel free to leave comments we will definitely answer them we also uh, check the forum so if you have questions you can also post them there thanks guys